in the tropics. The National Hurricane Center at 8 o'clock began watching a tropical wave off the coast of Africa. This map doesn't look like June. It looks like late July or August. That's usually when we see the uh, Cape Verde season kick in, where we see the waves come off Africa. They're giving it a 20% chance of developing here over the next seven days, and that is low. As you look at what's happening here, we have very high sea surface temperatures. You're looking at the anomalies in the main development region across the Atlantic into the Caribbean. This is what we have to watch this year. And with the above normal temperatures, even though we are forecast to go into an El Nino, which typically drops the number of storms, it's the above average sea surface temperatures and the fuel for those storms on why we are still forecasting at least an average, if not slightly above average season. Typically this time of year, we look closer to home along the tail ends of cold fronts from the Bay of Campeche off the northeast coast. Right now, those computer models are indicating some possible development of a depression or storm. We're talking seven to 10 days out. If it were to get a name, that name would be Brett. And of course, we'll stay on top of it. There is absolutely nothing to worry about right now as it is a long, long way away. As far as the extended forecast, we got to be more concerned about those showers and storms here over the weekend, especially when you're making plans there for Father's Day.